in your experience trying to help organizations i'm even sure government have you you've worked with government I've done some things for government okay now try to get the best out of the human resources available you know to these organizations what did you encounter that you know uh that will have been like a culture shock to you mm. um i've had the most shock uh, trying to work for the government i've had the most shock trying to work for the government um it's difficult and um if you have some values if you have a certain value sometimes it's really difficult sometimes you're lucky to just run into a government agency or a government person who won't um make some of those kind of demands that you just what don't. kind of demands i mean seriously let's let's be um, straightforward one here. case you know i did the job for uh, a government and um you know i did an invoice for hmm. them for what they paid me but then the commissioner came back and said please uh, yeah, leave some blank spaces in your invoice. Can you just give me an invoice and leave some blank spaces uh, that he has some things he wants to add there? Um, you know, and I said, no, I wouldn't do that. And I said, if, if I did that, um, in five years' time, somebody is looking at it and he's seeing something I did for this amount and I'm having one unbelievable crazy amount. I can't even defend that today. It doesn't even make sense. Now, uh, even if it makes sense, it... It's, it didn't happen, you know, so and it, it sort of uh, goes against my conscience. Um, so I refused. And then since that time, no more jobs. No. You know, and I don't mind. It, but it's difficult because the, the government actually does most of the spending. Yeah, because I'm going to come back to this yeah. same issue. Now, Nigerian government is about the largest employer in this country. Nigerian government controls about 70 to 80 percent of the economy. So inevitably, you must deal with the government at one point or the other. So how we Nigerians survive? It's a big one because that's what um, many uh, entrepreneurs are also doing. Because the sad effect of that is that most people, I have most, uh, many people, colleagues and entrepreneurs who, know, like, who vowed never to do anything with, with the government. government. So the government is losing the best hands. In, in, in sort of doing their projects and so you find the projects are revolving around you know the party the loyals few. Mm. the few the friends and things like that you know and so to break in so they are denying themselves you know of the opportunity to have the best minds and heart you know you can imagine professionals like myself walked across the world seen everything i mean if you're talking of local content for instance you know mm. we are talking about you know the people sitting there how much do they actually understand this local content? You know, then when you, the local content person, actually go to them, they are that. You know, it's strange in the sort of things that happen um, in, in our government. And then a friend told me about a case where um, a gentleman had been trying to do something, some kind of training for government here. And he, he never got the opportunity. So he now went out there and uh, to set, up, set, 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 set up something there <laughs> and now they all troop there to go there so y when i go there i don't get it but some indian or lebanese walks into that place who is far 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 less qualified doesn't even understand this the, the, the terrain 